So today we're going to be doing a plaque assay where essentially we mix together Streptomyces host bacterial culture along with the phage containing filtrate from yesterday's phage isolation from the enriched isolation. And the purpose of this essentially is to separate from multiple types of phage that may be within the sample and help to get it down to one phage, a pure sample of phage that we can work with and then purify and get to a correct concentration later. So we're going to start off by taking our host culture and we are going to pipette 100 microliters of this culture into three different tubes. And for this one, we're going to be doing a tube that is our negative control, one that is going to be with 50 microliters of the filtrate, and one that is going to be with five microliters of the filtrate. Okay, so now that all of those are aliquoted into their correct tubes, um, we have to make sure they're labeled. I already have mine labeled with the name of the phage and which sample it is, um, so that way we can put them on the correct corresponding plate later. So then we are going to dispense the phage sample into each of these tubes. And as I said, there's going to be varying amounts of samples dispensed into each, each of these tubes. And then the negative control is just going to be 50 microliters of phage buffer that is dispensed into the tube. So again, we're going to try to remain as sterile as possible while doing all of this. So it's making sure all lids and caps are facing downwards at all times, only leaving things open as long as we have to, and staying as close as we can to the flame. Okay, so now that we have our samples mixed together, then we can mix those up just kind of by gently flicking them and gently shaking them. Um, and then we are going to have to let our sample sit undisturbed for 10 minutes to allow for attachment of the phage to the host bacteria. So now that we have incubated these samples for 10 minutes to allow for the attachment of the phage to the host bacteria, we're going to plate these samples on the correct plates. We're going to go ahead and start off with our negative control. Then move into the five microliter. And then on to the microliter sample. So once we have all of these samples on the plates, we can get to spreading them. So it's going to be the same technique that you'd use whenever you be spread for the spot test. Um, so we're going to grab our hockey stick in ethanol. We'll take it out. We're going to flame the hockey stick. Burn off all that ethanol. Wait for it to cool for a little bit. Don't wave it around. Don't touch it or anything like that. Um, just make sure it stays sterile. And then... One last test to make sure it's cool is you can stick it on a part of the plate that does not have any of your sample. 
and make sure it doesn't melt into that auger. And once that, once it's cool, you can then go about spreading your sample across the plate. And then you're going to want to repeat that process for each plate. Again, we're going to make sure that this hockey stick is cool. And then we are going to go ahead and spread the sample around the plate. So you're going to want to kind of spin the plate as you go, ensuring that the sample makes its way around all the plates so you get a nice bacterial lock. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we're going to put the hockey stick on the auger to ensure that it's cool. And then we're going to use it to spread our sample around the plate. So make sure you're getting around to all the edges. Spinning the plate as we go. Hopefully, we'll end up with a nice, even bacterial lawn. It's all said and done.